Would you welcome <laughs> Sylvester Stallone? Go back in your career 10, 12 years. Would you ever thought you'd walk on a television show and have that kind of reaction? No, actually. Ten years, let's say take 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah. I don't know, they usually don't scream like that when you sweep floors. <laughs> Was there ever a time that you doubted yourself? Yeah, I, you know, I, I thought when I, you know, I lived in this, basically this flop house. It's $26 a week, very transient, and you share the floor with 10 people. You don't know anybody on the planet, literally no one. I think I recall you saying you're acting low point the godfather and you said you couldn't even get in the <laughs> i couldn't even get cash as an italian i'll never forget where there's a party scene is it 300 guests i said no i go what part of me didn't make it past the italian <laughs> identification aspect you go nah, i don't know you just uh, don't fit in I'm like, that's God's gotta, telling me something. That's got to play with your psyche a little bit. A little bit. I know. Yeah. But but it didn't. And you decided to take matters into your own hands by writing yeah. Rocky. Your entire life has been tough. People say, no, yes, yeah, tough. No, no, you're never going to make it. You're, yeah, you know, your mouth is crooked. Your voice is too deep. Your eyes. Everything is wrong. Okay. I think where I'm tough is... is uh, Interior voice? Yes. Really, really tough. Uh, because you have to be uh, to succeed in the arts. I'll bet you that the greatest artists in the world you'll never see because they're so sensitive and the rejection so difficult. They leave, they quit, they go back home, they become a farmer, they become whatever, they get married. So to be an artist today, when you see someone successful on screen, you have to realize that person is tough inside because mm -hmm. they took 20 years of rejection, rejection, rejection. So now you see them and, oh, thank you very much. But inside, they're like, yeah, because you have to be. When you wrote Rocky, yeah, and, and then finally, I mean, you were broke. And you write Rocky, and the right. studios like it. You finally get acceptance, right. and they say, okay, look, we don't want you. say, right. I want to be the star of this movie. And they go, look, man. You're nobody. That's true. And you turn down how much money for them to just buy the, just buy the film and put, I don't know, who they want to put in there? The they want to put Ryan O'Neill, Jimmy Kahn, uh, uh, they wanted to put Nick Nolte. Did people say to you, listen, Sylvester, you'll get your chance to act, sell the movie, make some money? Including my agents. They say, well, are you crazy? This is ridiculous money, $360,000 by standards back then. No, I said, look, guys, I, I really mastered the method of living on nothing, of eating basically cobwebs. And it's okay. I'm not... I, I, I know in my mind, if I sell it now and it becomes good... You'll kill yourself. I will kill myself. And right. they sat down and you said, we love your script, but you cannot yeah. do this. Yeah, and you said, I'm walking away from 360000 yeah. So when did you get the call that finally, okay, we'll, we'll let you start it? Did you have to go audition for them? Well, no, what it is is they finally broke it down and said, we can do this film. If you're going to be in it, we have a 14... It was a 14-day thing where we can fire you anytime if, right. if you do anything wrong. And, and more importantly, we can reduce it down to 900 grand all in and if you can do the thing in under 30 days okay if not it's it's over so Did you shoot the whole thing in, in uh, 28 days 28 days the mm -hmm. whole first rocky the whole thing unbelievable and the winner is rocky you were nominated for both writing the screenplay and acting that year only two other people charlie chaplin and orson wells have ever been nominated in those two categories in the same year sylvester stallone i'd like to thank you for sharing your dream of rocky with us and for giving a performance that has enriched all our lives. To all the Rockies in the world, I love you. When you said, this is for all the Rockies. This is all the Rockies in the world, yeah. Who do you think are all the Rockies in the world? We're all Rockies, in a sense. We all have this struggle to, to try to realize our dream, which is trying to be appreciated in their own lifetime to say, you know what, I'm not the fastest, I'm not the prettiest, I'm not the tallest, but I'd just like to take a shot at it one time.